Welcome to the seventh video in this series, Excel for Stock Market, where we publish 30 different Excel templates and we explain them in 30 different videos in 30 days. If you have missed any of the previous videos, click on the playlist link, which we will provide in the video description, as well as in the top right of your video screen on YouTube, so you can see all the previous videos in this topic as well. In this video, we will be talking about the Indian stock market tracker. In the previous video, we saw the US stock market tracker. This video is gonna be very similar. In this video, we will talk about how the template overall uh, functions. And I will also talk a little bit about how you can modify a uh, few things in this template. For example, adding other stocks you may want to track. So we'll go a little bit into the how the template is built so you can actually modify it according to your needs. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Please uh, share this content if you find any of this content useful. If it's not helpful, please provide your feedback in the comments. So now let's get started. In this Indian stock market template, it's gonna be very similar to what we saw in the US stock market tracker. The, the top section is where the two indices are shown, the Nifty 50 and the Sensex. And then we, see, we can see the current value and then the change and the change percent for both. And this is 22nd March at 5.52 a.m. And this is, you know, they were both down. And then we are tracking 1,690 stocks in this template. 885 gained, 723 declined. And 19 of the stocks um, we are not able to map yet. And... Uh, this is something that we feel that there's a gap in the Microsoft service itself where it's not able to recognize these stocks symbols. The template then shows, this dashboard then shows the top gainers, top decliners, and the top actives. So these are the top 10 gainers, top 10 decliners, and top 10 actives. And you can also go and view more to see more gainers and decliners and actives. So if you go to the gainers, this is another way to go there. Um, you can see the top 20 gainers and other associated information. We can see the 52 week low and high and also where the current price is. Very similar, if you, if you have seen the previous videos, you should be very used to this format. So we can have the decliners and the actives. So actives are based on the volume. Uh, decliners are based on the negative percentage. Um, so for example, here, the top negative percent is top negative 20%. That's why it's at the top. Uh, the gainers is positive gain. And then as always, the time here represents the maximum um, latest trade time of all the 1690 stocks we are tracking. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh all. And so now it's actually going to go and refresh the data. Today is actually 23rd uh, March and at 5.32 p.m. So we'll see when it comes back up, you can see the progress bar at the bottom where you can see that it's refreshing the data now from the service. And now it's done, there we go. So 23rd March, 5.04 a.m. is the time. This is something that we need to go and see why. Oh, I understand. So this is Indian um, stock market. So keep in mind that this is the Pacific time zone. And actually, if we want to change this to the Indian time zone, I'm gonna quickly look up the offset and then modify it right now. So now I have the website savvytime.com where I can see that the universal time coordinator, which is UTC, is five and a half hours, five and a half hours behind IST. So let me go back here. So Indian thing is actually ahead by five and a half. So I need to put 5.5 hours ahead of um, UTC. So we're gonna add to that and we will get 5.34 p.m. on the 23rd of March. So 23rd of March, which is, uh, let me see, 23rd of March, Tuesday, 5.34 p.m., basically at the, at the close of the market on the 23rd. This is the thing. Right now, it's very early in the morning in Indian Standard Time. That's why the data hasn't updated. Um, so this is right now Indian Standard Time um, that's represented, okay? So now, having said that, let's talk a little bit about the piece that I forgot to mention last time, which is this help sheet where you can actually see um, I have entered the two indices. 
So let's say, for example, you're taking this template and making it for your own uh, exchange or for your own country, then you could type in the two or two, this template supports two, the US stock market had three indices. Uh, and so if you wanted, uh, if you needed three indices, you can use that as your baseline uh, reference point. If you have only two, let's say you use this, you can type in your own index here in these two cells and then give a abbreviation. Then it will automatically come through here and it'll get displayed. Um, so you don't have to do a lot of work. It's all formula driven. So it'll save you some time if you want to uh, change the index that is displayed. The other piece um, I think we talked about in the last video was about how this template is built is essentially we have this table in the data sheet where we have entered 1690 um, stock symbols. And if you have more, you can enter them below like this. If I, if I have another one, I can just go ahead and let me zoom in. Um, so if I have another one, I will just go in here and the last um, 1694th column because this is the last one. So I go one below and I can now type in and then enter. So now it will add if it can understand which one um, it's going to ask me which one it is. So let's say I say this one. So now everything is automated. So you can go back and see the dashboard. Now we have 1691 stocks. Um, so that's how it is. You can add a, a stock to the tracker. I'm going to remove this because I already have this here in the in the list above. So now you can see that it's 1690 uh, and you don't have to do anything else. Just add the stock symbol and and then you can hide it. Everything everything is automatically handled for you and you can also hide the sheet. There we go. So now it's all done. So if you have any questions about this template, please uh, reach out. We tried to put in the complete list of stock symbols we found on the NSC, the National Stock Exchange of India, uh, and also in the BSC, the Bombay Stock Exchange. Um, again, we cannot map 19 of them, but the other ones are here. So if you find a way or if you have, if we have missed any of the stocks symbols, please let us know and we will be happy to actually update the template accordingly. So thank you very much for taking your time. Hopefully this video is helpful. If you found it useful, please share with your friends and definitely subscribe to the channel if you like the content so you can be notified of future uh, videos from us. Thank you very much for watching.